Hello YouTube Preppers, this is the Cons Prepper. And this video doesn't have any background here on the channel. This is a new project that I'm working on. I recently purchased a 40 watt CO2 laser off of eBay, a Chinese import. This was used and I thought I was getting a good deal, but in the end it turned out this machine had a lot of problems. And I'm not, I'll get into that in a separate video. Right now what I'm working on is priming the water cooling system for this 40 watt CO2 laser tube. Now you can see there's quite a few 3D printed parts here. I printed new brackets for mounting the tube. I printed a new frame for the water flow indicator and the thermostat. And what I'm doing right now is priming the tube and working out all the air bubbles. So I hope you can see that. You see the air bubbles working their way up and collecting the air. And what I've done is I've loosened the tube so I can twist it. And the goal here is to get these bubbles eventually to work to this stem here, which will return the air bubbles to the water source, which is the pot from one of my wife's, uh, I think it's a crock pot, I'm not sure. I'm not going to tell her I've been doing this. So how this works is there's a fish tank pump that pumps water up into the back end of the tube. And there's an electrical connection you can't see there, but I 3D printed a bulkhead, and that'll actually get to 15,000 volts in the back end of this tube. The water's pumped in, cools the tube, runs down the length of the tube here, and then comes to this output and goes back to the water source. So what I'm doing now is working out the air bubbles. This is a water flow sensor with a temperature gauge that I bought off of Amazon and 3D printed this housing. I like this because it has a visual display, it's connected to the output of the tube, so I always know that there's water flow taking place. I didn't put this in line on the input because if something go wrong downstream, this would still be turning, giving me a false sense of cooling, so I put this on the output. So the output of the tube comes and runs into this flow sensor, letting me know that there's water flowing through the entire system. And I can monitor the output temperature. So I probably have another week or two on this project, getting this thing up and running. Uh, the power supply blew. I think this machine was actually dropped because everything was twisted and bent out of alignment. So I had to 3D print a lot of parts. I put those on Thingiverse. Uh, if you look for K40 laser, you might find them under comms prepper. But hopefully I'll get this thing up and running and I can use this to start cutting material like acrylic and plywood to further my amateur radio hobby and emergency preparedness. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the comms prepper with a poor quality video using an iPod showing how I'm priming the CO2 laser tube for my new laser cutter. Thanks for watching everybody.